Alright, I'm finally ready to talk about this movie. I watched it yesterday. Ah, Chicken Run 2. Is it better than the original? No. Is it a solid sequel? Yeah. When I, throughout when I was watching the movie, I just kept on wanting to compare it to Incredibles 2. Because it took a long time to make a sequel, that's for sure. And... There's definitely parts of the movie where it feels like some scenes were just trying to copy the first one and it, I don't think it had as good of an impact as the first one did. For example, the ending fighting scene, it looks very, very similar. I mean, there's definitely has its differences, but very similar. All right. You want to get into spoilers? Because I know I do. It's spoiler time. So the beginning of the movie. Rocky tells an egg the story of the first movie. Yeah, just in case if you're a dumbass and missed the first movie and just decided to watch a sequel. There you go. Rocky tells the egg, tells the egg of the story of the first movie, and how brave his of how brave the egg's mom was. What do you know? The story makes the egg hatch, feet start coming out. The egg just just the feet are sticking out. The egg just hops all over the place. You think it goes into a pile of rocks? No, it's just in a, a pile of hay. But the story gives the got the egg excited. It hatched. It's a girl. Congratulations, it's a girl. Yep, they got a daughter. Who's very much like her mother, that's for sure. And she's very much like her father, whether the movie likes to admit it or not as much. She wants to get away from the chicken farm because she's a freeloader like her dad. She wants... Freedom ain't free if you're stuck in the same spot. But that would be a lesson of the movie. <clears throat> She's very much like her mother. Wants to do the right thing. I'm sure some of you have seen that Squid Game meme going around. Of the chickens and Squid Game outfits. There's definitely a reason for that. Because... What do you know? There's a playground for chickens. Hey, you think that's... And they're getting brainwashed to act silly. They're not using the brain. They're just having too much fun. They're like... They got collars. They make them look like they're high. They're like... They got their eyes all popped out like a weasel. Yeah. Controllers controlling the controllers controlling. <laughs> there's 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 three there's three remote controllers. One that just has a button to turn it off. Ironically enough, there's other buttons. One makes a coffee at the end of the movie. But if you you're like like Squid Games, don't they have to die? Well, duh, it's Chicken Run. It's Chicken Run. That's the whole. You got to save the chickens from dying. And what do you know? It's just like the island. You hit the lottery. Yeah. You think you're going to paradise, but you're just going up an escalator. Yeah. That's the curtains that are blocking you. We don't even see... You don't see what's on the other side. No, the chicken just goes up there and you hear a bunch of noise, bones crushing, all kinds of gore, you know. It's, yeah. Why not? <laughs> and then they come out as chicken, chicken nuggets. Obviously, bucket of chicken, bu bucket of the nugget, the whatever. Dawn of the Nugget is the name of the movie, title. not Bucket of the Nugget. <laughs> it's not called Chicken Run Two. They 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 took up the two. It's just a sequel. You don't you don't need a number for a sequel, do we? You just have an added part of the title. Playground. <laughs> uh. 
So the daughter and the daughter gets a friend. Yeah, I'm wondering. Does that mean there's lesbian chickens in this movie? <laughs> uh the mice definitely play I feel like the mice might have played a bigger role in this movie though. But I can't I, I can't tell you for sure. However, I think the the very first time I saw the first chicken run movie was on VHS tape. Yeah, or right from my dad's mom, but yeah. The <laughs> Uh, like it's funny the the old rooster just tells the snail a story and gets annoyed and then when the old rooster gets hurt the 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 snail kind of is happy and then the the, the rooster just starts telling the story again and then there's there's this scene where they're like trapped in a pile of corn what do you know the cliche of a ch well, this time it's a chicken instead of Velma from Scooby-Doo. Loses, loses their glasses, so they use the glasses of the magnifying glass. Turns the corn into popcorn and helps them shoot up the roof. Popcorn to the rescue. Yeah, popcorn. Popcorn's the answer to this movie. There's popcorn throughout this movie. At least three times that I can remember. Rocky, Rocky shows them how to make popcorn in a glass jar. The escape, and then oh, that's the other thing. There's traps. This is very much like open season. There's traps. Yeah, or not open season. Why am I saying open season? Over the hedge. I need to get my movies right. Over the hedge. You know the lasers. Yeah, there's laser ducks in the water trying to stop them, but they just swim under the water away from the ducks because they can't see you because they can't see in the water apparently unless you're up above it I did not write this movie <laughs> uh, <laughs> but forget uh... and they ride on a cloud yeah the, the old rooster rides on a cloud because that was originally their escape plan but now they end up taking a truck a whole hell even the 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 trailer I tell you the trailer ruined ruined the that Miss Tweedy is coming back because the intro of her coming back that would have been oh, they're doing it but no you saw the trailer so you already know like that reveal wasn't the greatest yeah of course your you're as bad as my husband or whatever yeah the freaking miss tweety is evil obviously we know that how the i think the other guy is technically in this movie that i think they try to make that guy look he looks skinnier though but he looked taller to me too but yeah i think they had that guy back in the movie too the one that was helping her first husband because she gets married again to a genius and she like squishes the guy's head like when they're trying to get this guy to buy chicken for his rest chicken for nuggets for the restaurant. Yeah, apparently the mind control makes them all happy because having ha a happier chicken means strong, better taste, better taste if the chickens are happy if they're down in the dumps. Yeah, or they're or they're rebels. Yeah, they're rebels. Then the chicken don't taste good apparently in this movie. Uh, it's a good movie. I recommend it for sure. There's definitely some adult jokes in this movie too. I'm not going to spoil them. Okay, I'll spoil the second one. The second one. They're trying to climb up before they realize to use the popcorn they're trying to climb up to the window or whatever rocky's there but they're trying to climb up there and then they're like the one the chicken tells the mouse the crack and then ends up the mouse sticks the hand in the other mouse's ass what the fuck 
But yeah, Rocky Fall Down. Yeah, it's a good movie. I don't really know how much more to tell. I'd give it maybe a seven and a half out of ten. I probably didn't spoil this movie that much, but yeah, it's, there's parts like the original. That's all I gotta say. Check it out for yourself. Uh, as always, there's always things I forget to mention. Uh, they're about to escape, but then the mama chicken decides, no, they're not going to leave. They're going to rescue the rest of the chickens. Uh, they ask their daughter, are you ready for this? And she's like, I was bored for this. Because <laughs> remember, Rocky, like I said in the beginning of the movie, Rocky told the story of the first movie. So she was technically born for it because she heard the story when she was an egg still. <laughs> I just thought that was clever. Tying the end of the beginning like that. It's a good movie. So apparently for some reason I decided to not talk about the whole plot of the movie in this video until now. <laughs> so the whole plot of the movie is they're trying to break into a chicken farm. Rocky and Ginger, I don't know why I kept them calling her Chicken Mom, to save their daughter, Molly. Anyways, Rocky goes in there first. So they end up having to try and find Rocky, too. But the mice end up with Rocky. They're all separate. Molly... Um, Ginger ends up finding Molly, and then later on, Ginger and Mrs. Tweety meet up, and then there's flashbacks for the first movie, of course, and Miss Tweety tries to get Ginger brainwashed, it doesn't seem like it's working, then all of a sudden it starts working. Also, the other chickens are watching video footage trying to see what's going on and it's funny because there's like this part where Rocky's just over the edge and they say it's a well that's a cliffhanger and then it <laughs> doesn't go back to Rocky for a little while <laughs> it's, it's, so it's got like multiple plots through the movie well, the old rooster's just bugging the snail on the roof So one controller stops the controllers, the other does the coffee, and the other one takes them to the lottery to get turned into nuggets. Yeah, I think I mentioned it all. It's a good movie. I can't believe I almost forgot to mention that scene in this movie. There's this scene... You know the old rooster who has military training? He's in a bush and he's like, meet me at this time for camouflage training. Then we never get to see the camouflage training. Like, what? I want to see that. I want to see chickens learning how to camouflage themselves. That'd be freaking awesome. Disappointment. Yeah, definitely check out the movie for yourself. I know I said 7.5 probably earlier in the video, but I'm leaning more towards an 8 the more I think about it. Because it's, it's, it's like a C- minus or a B. It's a good, it's B, yeah. Thanks for watching.